All right, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Tang Lim from University of Missouri. I'm a faculty here working in extension and research. Um, so as um, the previous speaker have shared with you about our background information, uh, what I want to do today is to uh, briefly discuss a little bit about our mini-grant programs here. Um, basically, we are um, requesting um, Oh, actually, there, there is um, a poll question, so if, if people can work on this. Um, so I guess um, we'll have to wait for a few seconds for people to do this. And Leslie, would you please move to the next one when you're ready? So um, what we're trying to do here is we will be requesting um, the, the uh, hoping to get people to respond because we have already started our request of the, of the uh, proposal coming in. What we're trying to do here is to offer up to four mini grants. Each of those would not exceed $4,000. So the idea is to um, be able to let people to use this little part of money to help fund the current existing type of um, either PhD students, master students, or any kind of support staff to help, uh, especially for those who are already working in very closely related fields about the manure and then the soil health. Um, what we're hoping to do is to um, summarize the existing science and databases which are related to the role of manure uh, and also to promote the soil health. Um, along with the, uh, the announcement, we also have a work document uh, provided for the proposal development so that it will be easier for people uh, not have to worry too much about the formatting and, and also the details of, uh, of the uh, proposal. Uh, the deadline, which is very important uh, for submitting that, is on Monday, which is on November 7th, uh, 2016, close to midnight. Um, next slide, please. So uh, these are just the examples, and I want to stress that uh, it's something that we were thinking of what would we like to see, and certainly we're not limited to this. So um, for example, the review of scientific literature focused on land application of manure that could affect the water quality and also soil and soil matrices that can provide indicators of soil health, because as of now, the soil health is still somewhat uh, loosely defined. Uh, and the other example is the summary of the private and pu uh, public sectors of the soil, soil test databases. Um, and then also we want to stress that maybe they have, there are some kind of uh, data. For example, I know for in our state, we have different groups that have been working on, on this kind of database, but they never really publish those data. So it'll be a waste if we're trying to work on this, uh, the mesh project or soil health projects, but we don't have those database uh, sharing among us. Um, so what we want is that if you know of this kind of data, maybe you want to include those in the mini grants. Um, the other example is the review of non-traditional topics with soil health or soil biology uh, implications, including but not limited to the livestock specific um, microbiome data, the diet specific impacts, the confined feeding versus grazing impacts of soil health. Um, next slide please, Leslie. So here are some important dates. Uh, we have already re released the request of the applications, which was on October 5th. The proposal is due on Monday, November 7th. Uh, we intend to notify the, uh, the people, the, the words, um, close to December the 12th, and we think that the project should start on January 1st, 2017, and should be about a five to six months project. And of course, if uh, you can finish the, the project earlier, we'll be happy to take those too. So next slide, please. So that's that's all. Uh, we have the, the copy of the RF, RFA posted on that unl.edu mesh RFA 
website there. Uh, if you have any trouble getting to that, or if you have any other question, please feel free to give us a phone call. Uh, both Rick, myself, Tang Lim, uh, will be happy to uh, respond to the email requests or the phone calls. And we want to acknowledge the mini grant team, uh, Amy Smith, Sally Bradwich, who has who have been very uh, instrumental in putting together this call for proposal.